Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice and if you are new here and today we are doing another, yes, I said another decluttering video. So I have a haul closet, coat closet, whatever you want to call it, right outside this door and we store our, obviously, our coats in there. We have Halloween decorations, I have bridesmaids dresses, tools, our luggage, vacuums, like there's just so much stuff jammed into this little itty bitty closet and um, we haven't been able to close the door to it for the past couple of weeks. So my husband and I decided it was finally time to like sit down and like put in the work for actually taking care of this disastrous closet and decluttering it, getting rid of stuff, moving stuff to better places. And then I think that there's honestly just like tons of like trash in there too somehow. We've only lived in this apartment for like seven, eight-ish months now, but we've managed to completely trash this little corner. But if you've seen other videos of mine, you know that I love to declutter, I love to organize. I'll link a playlist down below if you want to catch up on other areas of this apartment that we've completely tackled and made beautiful and functional and great once again. But today we are doing that to this closet. So let me take you over to what we're working with. Okay, so we just came out of this room, this is my office, and we're going straight over to this little corner, which is the closet. It has one door to it, our outside patio is right there, if you want a reference for where it is in our home. But we obviously have coats and coats and coats and more coats in here. We also have toilet paper, travel items, we have wrapping supplies, travel coffee cups, and then our vacuum also normally fits in there. It doesn't right now because there's all of this going on. So down here in the bottom, we have suitcases. We have gift bags full of random stuff, backpacks, backpacks, a bunch of tools, boxes, bridesmaid dresses, everything that I said before in the intro. So all of this needs to come out. So the plan of attack right now is to take everything out of this closet and just start completely fresh. That way we can also see everything that we have at once and not just work corner by corner and maybe like skip some sections, but also so everything can be out of there and we can give it a good deep clean. We can vacuum the floors. We can just do everything that that room needs. And then also not all of this is my stuff some of it's my husband's stuff So I might ask him if we can declutter some things if we can get rid of some of the jackets because Not calling them out or anything, but a lot of these jackets are his so let's start by pulling everything out of this closet to start with Okay, this is just the stuff from the bottom of this little itty bitty closet. All of the stuff on the floor. And then these big jackets were hanging on the door, but we are all empty in this bottom now. I think I'm gonna move to the top. And I've kind of been organizing these in groups a little bit to help me out in the future. So all of these are our bags. I have tools and like garage things over here. I remember what this bag is for. We're giving some stuff away to Christian's brother. So that stuff's for giving away. The vacuum stuff's in the corner. Boxes of things are over there. So a rough organization setup. The top is officially cleared out. We just have the hanging stuff. And I think I'm not gonna full Marie Kondo this stuff. I'm gonna pull Christian out here and have him go like item by item with me to see if there's anything that we can get rid of. But mostly empty, just some clothes. And then all of this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How did we even fit this much stuff back in there? We're definitely gonna have to get rid of some stuff because there's no way all of this can possibly fit back in that closet. Hey Christian. Do you care if I move some of your jackets or hoodies to your closet? Sweet. So I've relocated all of the hoodies and like pullover sweaters to Christian's closet because he was keeping a lot of his in here and I keep all of mine in the bedroom too. So we moved those out of here, but it's still super full and you might be confused about why. So Christian's actually in the military. If you're curious at all about what our life is like as a military couple, I'll link some stuff down below that you can watch some other videos that I've made. But we have a lot of uniforms like uniform, uniform, uniform. Uniform, 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 and that's it. So all of this stuff also goes in there and it takes up tons and tons of space, but I think I wanna, oh my gosh, I can't even hold this. I wanna reorganize this closet to be more like sections. So like all of the uniform stuff is in one corner of it. All of uh, my like long dresses are in one corner of it. Our rain jackets are here. So I think I'm gonna redo that now. And I 
found a pair of pants that don't belong in here. So now everything in here is nice and organized by section. In the very back section, you can see all of my long like bridesmaid dresses, ball dresses, all of those. Next is all of Christian's uniforms, and then our lighter jackets and rain jackets, and Christian's suits, and then in the back, his like heavy winter coats. We still have this pile of coats right here, and I don't know if I wanna hang them up and put them there, or leave them hanging over the door like they were before. So we will see what we end up doing. I think I'm gonna save that for last, because right now they're out of the way, because they're on top of our couch, and I don't know if I would hang anything else up on the door, and it was a good use of the space. Now before I start organizing and decluttering and throwing things away and going through what we need or what can go somewhere else in the apartment, I want to go through and clean all of this because I know that once I have narrowed down our stuff that goes into this closet, I'm going to be ready to just like put it in here and get the project over with. So I'm going to take a second, I'm going to pause, and I'm going to clean. You can also see the ridiculous lighting setup I have to do to be able to have any light showing into that closet. We have every light in this area turned on, and then I brought up this lamp from the office and that lamp from our bedroom. So I am putting in the most effort for you to be able to see all of my clutter, all of my dirty laundry, literally. Well, it's not dirty in there, but it is a lot of clothes. But I'm gonna take a little tea break, get caffeinated, get a little energy, and then we're gonna tackle everything on the floor. So. Tea break turned into a lunch break, turned into a, a chocolate break, but we're back on track now. Let's tackle these piles down on the floor. Okay, here is everything we have left. I have decluttered a lot. I've gotten rid of a bunch of trash. That whole thing is full of trash. I don't know how we ended up with a random license plate, but somehow we did a bunch of other random things in there. I grouped all of our Easter decor in there. This is all wrapping paper. That's all wrapping paper. I moved around um, these bins that have a Halloween decor and other stuff. And then you saw me probably open these mugs up and put them back. We thought we were gonna move these into our um, kitchen but we actually are moving in a couple of months so we decided to leave them packaged up nice and safely and we're going to just put these away in the storage shed we have outside to keep them safe and ready for the next move when we have much more cabinet space and then everything else I think is going to end up back in this closet.
think is a good representation of how this project has gone. So, we are finally done. Everything is back in the closet. I wish I could make it a little bit prettier, maybe in our next place. If you see my linen closet organization, you saw me get a bunch of matching bins from Ikea, and it's just very aesthetically pleasing to look in there. So like, it's a step above being organized and knowing where everything is, that it's like an enjoyable space when you open the drawer. So just because we did not go out today to buy anything for this project, I just wanted to get rid of things that were taking up too much space in there and make room for other things and just overall organize this a little bit neater, not necessarily make over everything going on in here. So this is what we are left with. The final closet, it is still very packed and very full. The bottom, I have a little bit more space and I'd like to get an organizational like bin or a bucket or something because we have all of the attachments over there for our Dyson and they just kind of lay on the floor because we didn't hang the charging component for the Dyson because it's a rental apartment. We didn't have a place to store all the attachments. So I think I might get a bucket or a little basket to throw in there to make that neater. And then we just have all of our luggage stacked up over here, all of our backpacks and my carry on. Now, if you're curious about how we charge our vacuum in here, right behind the door is this little outlet which we just plug the charger into and then we run the cable right inside of there. So most of the time the Dyson is just charging in there. Today it wasn't just because of all of everything being pulled out of here and whatnot. But then a couple more things are tucked away in that corner. You saw all of the organization that went into all of the clothes up here. And then up here, I just made this a little bit neater. And I think the biggest thing that I've done is moving all of our tools up to this top part. So you can see right here, we have tools and tools and tools. What used to happen was these three were on the floor and they would get tossed around. Tools would be falling out of them, sharp screws and, and hammers and other things would just be laying on the floor and it was just not safe. So I'm hoping we're gonna be a little more careful when we take things out of there. I also have our wrapping paper up there. I think I might wanna get a like not see-through bin to store all of that in so it's a little bit prettier. But overall, I'm very pleased with the organization that happens in here without having to buy anything. I took some long breaks in this for like lunch and just drinking tea and just relaxing because I'm not in a rush to get this project done. If I wanted to just do it in one fell swoop, I think this entire project would have taken be like an hour or two to do so really not that much time in the grand scheme of things to tackle one space that we go into every single day and has been just nagging and stressing us out to get into and difficult to find and we honestly found a bunch of things that we forgot we even had so christian's birthday is next week and i found a happy birthday banner i also found an easter banner that i forgot that i had that i didn't get to use this year so we definitely found some fun things that i totally did not know were even in this apartment and it was nice to clear everything out do a little accountability for what we own what we don't need to buy for halloween next year did not realize i had so much halloween decor but I have a lot now make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bells and also like this video it really helps me as a smaller youtuber to make more videos for you guys when you're engaging and subscribing like it really really helps me also if you're engaging down in the comment section I love to hear from you guys and I'm always replying to all of my comments in my videos it also really helps me like I said before I hope you guys enjoyed watching I hope you found it satisfying I hope it was motivating for you to go tackle either your coat closet or maybe your clothes closet or if you're just watching this because you wanted to see a satisfying before and after I hope this met the needs for that so thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys later. Bye.